This season is getting quite hot with new solar builds, but guys, I can't help but make another solar warlock build, because this build I made last season actually got even better this season, especially with solar being the main focus on the new artifact that we got with the launch of Season of the Wish. So guys, today I bring you your updated faster supers build for the warlock, and when I say faster supers, what I mean is you're basically going to get your well back stupidly faster than normal, but at the same time benefiting from a bunch of other things like having restoration, radiant, scorching, and ignition effects, being able to stun barriers and unstoppables with weapons that aren't even supposed to stun them, nor have anti-champion perks for those weapon types, and on top of this, you're going to get your abilities back a lot faster than normal, while dealing a lot of damage in the process. Because fusion grenades alone are powerful, but with the new perk that we got this season, we can use those fusion grenades to weaken champions and bosses, while also having that well too for the DPS buff. So we're getting a debuff and a buff at the same time, and if you're using weapon surge mods and other damage boosting perks, then you just just going to become a true DPS god. This build has to be one of my favourite builds but to be honest, if you have another person using the exact same build but in things like a Grandmaster Nightfall, then this build will perform even better to ensure that you get infinite supers one after another before that current well you placed down has even expired. Honestly guys stay tuned because this build is so powerful you really don't want to miss it. Now do you want to feel true power? Do you want to feel the true power of code? Well let me tell you guys about today's sponsor, Boot.dev. Now Boot.dev is an online self-paced learning service that takes learning back-end web development to the next level. It's almost as if you're playing an RPG game, but you're learning. With Boot.dev, you'll be learning code in the most smartest and unique way possible. You'll earn XP, levels, achievements, and complete quests to get on the global leaderboards, all whilst learning code at the same time. You'll get to learn back-end web development from start to finish in the Python and Go programming languages, which can open up amazing opportunities for you in the near future without needing to go to university. And according to Stack Overflow, the average salary for back-end developers in the US in 2023 was over $100,000. So it is a pretty good career to take on, and by using boot.dev, you'll get to learn code in the most simple and effective way possible while making it fun and cost effective, meaning you can learn and work from home to make your dream a reality. And what I love most about Boot.dev is that they have such an amazing and active Discord community where you can talk to others who are learning and learn code together, or get help quickly if you're stuck on your coding challenges. The platform is designed to help you learn and write tons of code in the most fun way possible so that you don't get bored and give up, because getting your hands on the keyboard and actively writing code is the best way to learn and improve your skills, and I have to say personally, I'm really enjoying the platform a lot myself. It is a fantastic place to learn and improve your coding skills, whether you're a first timer and you've never coded in your life, or you're fairly experienced, then boot.dev will help you get to where you want to be without any obstacles getting in your way. So guys, be sure to click my link in the description box and use my code DIVIDE to get 25% off your first payment for boot.dev. That's 25% off your first month or your first year, depending on the subscription that you choose. Amazing site and an amazing community to be around. Thank you again boot.dev for sponsoring today's video. Now getting back into the video, if you guys do like this one and you want to see more top builds for Destiny 2 every season, then be sure to check out the full playlist down below because you might just find your new dream build. But for this one today, we're reworking the old faster supers build that we made last season using the Phoenix Protocol and updating it for this season for Season of the Wish. And what Phoenix Protocol does is return super energy from kills and assists that you make while standing inside your well of radiance, which caps out at 50%. So we will be placing down our wells and just getting kills while in side to get up to that 50% super energy and then using other parts of the build we will be able to get the remaining 50% pretty quickly so that we can get these supers faster but not only that we will also have a bunch of other benefits with the build too so for any time that we don't have the super ready we'll be getting things like radiant and restoration constantly while we're working up towards getting that super back and if you do have another person running this build with you you'll both be able to chain between those wells non-stop as long as you have ads around to kill to get that super energy from phoenix and and to also generate the orbs. It is a build that's more ideal for GMs or harder content but while playing solo. You can just use this build for boss DPS if you want to but I'd strongly recommend using the super when you know that you can get a few kills to get the majority of that super energy back otherwise you will be waiting a little longer for it to recharge fully if you do just use it on a boss and only a boss. 
Now the most simple way to explain how you use this build is you'll just put down a well and then kill ads. That's literally it. Well, the simple way. If you want to get more out of this build, then you'd want to place down the super and get kills as usual, but at the same time kill ads with your grenades, your melees and place down rifts to get the grenade back quicker and keep picking up orbs and fire sprites that spawn and then you'll get your super even faster. But if you do have another person using a the build, then that remaining 40-50% to super energy that you need will be refilled pretty quickly quickly because you'll have their orbs, your orbs, and at the same time with a new artifact perk this season wished into being, you'll be able to generate a bunch of orbs just before getting your super as well by getting a final blow with an ability. Now if you don't have your super, you'll instead go on a killing spree with solar weapons which will make you radiant and spawn fire sprites. Picking them up will give you restoration as well as grenade energy, and then just killing adds after that will extend the timers for both radiant and restoration, so if you can maintain that loop, you'll have those buffs infinitely. Now in harder content, you you ain't gonna be running around like that, so instead what you'll do is sit back with a primary weapon, ideally a solar scout rifle, something like Polaris Lance, and just use your solar abilities and long range solar weapons to kill adds. Doing so will still give you radiant, scorch enemies and spawn fire sprites, which you can then later pick up for that grenade energy and restoration. So you are essentially using the build the same way, but just at a slower pace. And this is good because the perk Flint Striker is giving you radiant this season by just getting rapid precision hits with solar weapons, which then means you can stun barriers, but by using Polaris Lance with its built-in ignitions, you can also stun unstoppables as well, and it's just a great combo to use this season for being able to stun two champion types instead of one. And although you can do this in any season with radiant, it's just easier this season because all we need to do to get radiant is get precision hits, and with this thing or a reloading on precision hits, it's just going to make it even better. Now with this setup you are going to want to run a Well of Radiant Super in the Dawnblade Solar subclass since we are dedicated to using that super, but for the Rift I am using a healing one as it's just better to use in harder content, a Celestial Fire melee but you can use what you prefer, and then a Fusion Grenade which I strongly recommend. For Aspects we have Touch of Flame so our Fusion Grenade explodes twice, and since we are using the new artifact perk that weakens enemies with solar abilities, this is just going to allow us to deal even more damage. As for the second aspect, that doesn't really matter, I am just using the Icarus Dash because it's generally something I like to use. And then Fragments, there's actually two setups. For easier to higher tier content, you'd want to use Ember of Imperium, Ember of Searing, Ember of Mercy and Ember of Eruption. And the reason for this is because us killing scorched enemies through our solar weapons while radiant will allow us to spawn fire sprites and then picking them up will give us grenade energy and give us restoration for our health regen. But then just getting kills with our solar weapons will extend those timers as well. And the way we'll scorch enemies will be by our solar weapons using the new artifact perk Kindling Trigger where radiant causes solar weapons to apply scorch to unscorched combatants. So we'll get radiant from rapid solar kills or precision hits to then scorch enemies and spawn on those fire sprites. And that's basically how we'll maintain that constant radiant restoration and get faster grenades. And we want faster grenades because our helmet mods, the two ashes to assets, these will give us more super energy on grenade final blows, which is important after we hit that 50% cap from Phoenix. Now with weapons, you do want to make sure you're running solar ones, so good things to use are a Polaris Lance, or things like the Callus Mini Tool, any long range solar weapons, or even Sunshot, there are a ton of weapons to choose from, but just make sure you have some solar ones on, as this is what will maintain the build's effectiveness. Now for the second fragment setup that I have, I'd recommend using it in things like GMs, where you're not constantly making fire sprites. So instead of getting fire sprites, we'll use Ember of Resolve, Ember of Char, and Ember of Blistering, because Ember of Resolve will heal you on grenade kills, Ember of Char will spread scorch from the ignition effects, and Ember of Blistering will give us grenade energy. So it's up to you what you prefer, but these three fragments I'd use in GMs, and any other activity I'd keep the build as it is originally. Now there are a few mods we're using with this build which you do want to use, so we have a solar siphon in the helmet to spawn orbs, and you want these orbs because of the two grenade kickstart mods that we're going to use, which will give us more grenade energy when we throw it. Then every other mod that we have will just be cooldown mods that affect the grenade so that we can get them back quicker. Just make sure you have your free stats focused in resilience, recovery and discipline so that you can get those abilities back faster while also having more damage resistance in PvE content. This build is probably one of the easiest 
best builds to use in Destiny 2 as a whole because the only thing you really need to do as a minimum is get kills and assists while standing inside your well once you place down that super. And if you have a lot of ads around and teammates helping you then this ain't going to be a problem. But everything else with the build on top is just going to make it even easier and better. Just make sure you have this build set up the way that I have and it should do you a lot of favours. And if you are running this during Season of the Wish then make sure to slot on these artifact perks too as we do have quite a few helping us out but if you don't want to use these artifact perks or you're just using a build in a different season then make sure you're running the second setup of fragments because if you have no way of getting radiant then you won't be able to spawn those fire sprites and you'll just be wasting a bunch of fragment slots for completely nothing but either way a really good build to use this season but if this isn't the build for you then make sure to check out the playlist down below for more otherwise don't forget to head over to boot.dev with my juicy discount code using my link below or on screen now so that you can begin your new coding adventures and until next time have a good one